Welcome to another edition of the Jerry Ratcliffe Show podcast. Uh, we have a very special guest today with a very special presentation for us on today's show. And uh, no stranger to our audience is Dr. David D. Duck from University of Virginia Orthopedics. And uh, we're going to talk about the brand new UVA Orthopedic Center on Ivy Road. It's uh, opened back in the late winter, early spring, but uh, we haven't had the opportunity to present it to you. And uh, we have a slideshow. And yes. we're going to talk about uh, all the wonderful aspects of this building and what it brings to not only the community, but the state of Virginia. And uh, David, uh, haven't seen you in a while. I hope things are well. Yes, Jerry, doing very well. Thank you. And thanks for the opportunity to share a little about our new new building. We, uh, several times on your show, uh, talked with eager anticipation about this building that we were, uh, that was going under construction. We were actually a part of the design for 10 years and just the concept development. And we're so excited that we're in it now. We had a phase in move over months of February and March. Uh, and we're, we're up and running, and it's just absolutely fantastic. It's everything and more that we hoped it would be, and I'm excited to share a little bit about it. I've driven past it a few times on the, the way uh, out toward uh, Ivy and Crozet, and it, it, it just looks like an incredible building. Uh, couldn't ask for much more, and, and I'm sure it's even better on the inside than – with all the well, I'll share a little bit about you. Now you'll get a, a peek inside. So this was an artist rendering. And um, let's see here. There we go. Uh, this wow. was uh, early in the early in the spring as it was about just opening. You see the grass hadn't quite fully come in, but this it's a big, beautiful building. It's three levels and uh, it, it's quite, quite nice. So it's right on 250 next to the, the uh, UVA Police and Visitor Center. So just immediately off the bypass, where the bypass meets 250 business, can't imagine a more convenient location when you think about patient access coming off 64 or 29 or 250. It's absolutely perfect. Um, so this is a view from the back. It's got a huge open terrace there. We've already held events on, outside on the terrace um, and just gorgeous building. So it's, it's 200,000 square feet. It's an enormous building. Uh, it's got a covered... Uh, patient drop-off area uh, in the front uh, that you see there in a big turnaround so that patients can get dropped off and picked up, which is very, very helpful. Uh, and once the patients come in, got a big spacious lobby, uh, a reception desk with lots of eager folks to help patients with wheelchairs if they need it, finding their way around, just People are immediately greeted by smiles and helpful people. Uh, they've got, uh, uh, you can see people are moving pretty fast <laughs> <laughs> around here. So a big information desk. And then immediately uh, adjacent to the lobby, we have a check-in area for people to complete the, you know, the usual paperwork registration. And then from there, they're directed to the clinic where they're going to see their different providers. So we have all of the UVA orthopedic uh, subspecialties here, which is incredibly helpful. So here you can see the spine clinic and there's three on each floor and the floors stacked on top of each other. And we did something different. This is not the typical doctor's waiting area. You see you have chairs lining uh, the wall with lots of sunlight, filtered sunlight, so it's not too bright, but little work areas with tables. Uh, you know, the, each of the seating areas has electrical outlets. So you can charge phones. Here's a view from the opposite direction. Um, so a different kind of design and patients seem to like it. It feels spread out. It doesn't ever feel like a full waiting room. It feels very open. Um, and you see uh, there's there's three areas there with a desk to check people in, trauma, spine, joints, et cetera. And here's the, the sports medicine area. It's the biggest of the areas um, and it's down at the end of the hall and uh, right next to that. Uh, we, we have, uh, so these are all the people that are in it. So sports medicine, both orthopedic and primary care sports are in it, as well as hand surgery, which is going to, is going to cover wrist and elbow problems, joint replacement surgeons, uh, trauma surgeons, spine specialists, foot and ankle specialists. So every special, every specialty that uh, is orthopedic is here. 
as well as the primary care sports folks. So we're very, very excited. Um, uh, and just a few, you know, nicer touches, just complimentary coffee and tea right there in the waiting area. Um, and uh, this is this is really cool. So this is behind the scenes. Patients wouldn't necessarily see this part of it, but this is the physician workspace um, at the other end of where the waiting area is. So you have the exam rooms and so forth. And then we have all of these desks and computers and it's all open. So it spills from one specialty into the next. So uh, for instance, sports is next to joint replacement and next to trauma. And our specialties often overlap. So we'll see patients that have knee pain and they'll come in and wow, look, they've got a surprising amount of arthritis. They really need my colleague to talk about a knee replacement. And my colleague is right there. So it's, it's perfect. Uh, we can just grab somebody, get somebody to the patient that they really are better able to see. Um, and the same goes for all the other specialties. We've grouped them according to where common areas of overlap are. Uh, and that's, that's been terrific for patients. Already many, many patients have have been redirected in the moment to the ideal provider, um, which is fantastic when you traveled a long way. The other thing this really helps is education. Uh, you guys know we're a teaching hospital, so residents and fellows and med students are with us all the time, and they see this crossover. So we'll have an interesting case. I'll go let the guys know next door. They'll come over. They'll take a look. Everybody learns from that. Um, and it, it just goes on like this all day long. It's really very fruitful for enhancing education. Um, and, and one of the biggest parts of this, that's a, that's a real plus that came out of this design to have this common, common work area, also very spacious. We love the views looking straight out towards uh, 250 and towards the West, which is just beautiful. Um, and uh, this is a view from the other side, these big, big uh, screens that have the patients listed and color coded so that we can stay on time and know who's been in which room longest. Huge help there. It used to be patients would just be in rooms. I'd come out of one room, ready to go to the next, and, and you don't know. I mean, all the rooms are full. Who's been there the longest? Who do you want to jump in and see first? So this really helps. Um, and I think it's definitely cut down on wait times and the flow is, is, is very, very efficient. Um, we've got a tremendous staff. One of the things we've gone to in, in the sports medicine part of this is to use athletic trainers uh, in our clinic. So a lot of the staff that uh, has worked in the past with UVA athletics or some of the area high schools are now in our clinic helping us see patients alongside the nurses and the medical assistants. And uh, it's great because they, they really get it when it comes to working with athletes and connect with them in a very uh, meaningful way. They also are a great go-between with the, the athletic trainers for their schools in terms of follow-up and instructions and to check on these athletes. When there's a, a, an athlete that needs to get in, get in for an urgent visit, they can reach out to our athletic trainer. They can facilitate getting them in, juggling the schedule, making a spot. So that's been a great addition. And so it makes for a, really a wonderful team environment. We've had lots and lots of compliments about our staff and just how incredible capable they are, how friendly they are, how well-trained and uh, this has been nice. So uh, a couple other things that are unique about our sports medicine part of this building. So we have a separate concussion center within the sports medicine area and we're gonna have um, concussion experts staffing this um, part of this is this balance testing machine that you see here um, that I was uh, uh, checking out. So it's, it's the lights and all go on in that sphere and, and it tests reaction time and the floor kind of moves. And it's kind of checking your, your, your balance uh, and reaction to assess uh, severity of concussion and when you're ready to return to play. Um, so this is absolutely state of the art. As you can see, that's just one incredible piece of equipment. Um, and uh, we're, we're also reaching out to area, area high schools. So one of the advantages when an athlete goes to a place like UVA is they undergo baseline concussion testing. They, they take some tests and, uh, they, and you're scored based on your reaction time and, and processing and visual uh, inputs and everything else. So you're okay, that's my baseline because everybody's different, right? You, you can understand that. So you can pick up subtle changes after a possible concussion when you compare those scores to a baseline. And we're doing the same thing with high schools. So um, we're bringing in high schools that's starting this summer. 
and they will do baseline testing. Uh, you get kind of a, a basic level for free that we're doing just as a community service. And then if a parent wants to do kind of the, the Cadillac version, they can undergo even more testing as a baseline. That would be for a fee, fee because it just takes a lot more time uh, and staff, as you, if, as you might imagine. But I think this is going to be an incredible um, uh, service to this community, and it'll immediately be the go-to place for concussions. I mean, right now, um, you know, if a kid in high school or junior high school has a, has a head injury, you know, it's very concerning to families. And like, well, where do we go? Because a lot of pediatricians just aren't comfortable managing this. And now we've got a go-to place with the absolute experts. Um, I think this is going to be huge. Yeah, so other, yeah, other components. Uh, interrupt me anytime, okay, Jerry? Okay. So, no, I would agree. I think that's a great uh, service for the community and yeah. particularly the high schools. I mean, gosh, uh, yeah. any parent has to be really concerned when a kid gets shaken up like that. And and you're right. Where where do you go? Now they have a place, to, and now they know where they can go. The more the more scientific we can be with this especially with this equipment and these experts, I mean, the safer it is for these kids, because that's the one area where catastrophe can happen. I mean, be it, you know, you know permanent memory impairment or future issues, or, I mean, there even been, there's been deaths from, from the, the swelling with what's called second impact syndrome. So to make it more scientific and return a kid safely, boy, you know, we couldn't, couldn't be anything better that we could do. Honestly, so I'm um, excited about that. This this is in also in the sports uh, part of the building. This is the runners clinic. Um, Bob Wilder and Siobhan Statuta kind of champion this area, and they they have a treadmill with video analysis and the computer and so forth, and so it can really pick up subtle problems with the a runner's gait um, and maybe help say, okay, well if we prescribe orthotics that tilt your foot this way, we may help avoid. Where you're putting pressure across your knee or your hip, but maybe that's leading to stress fractures. So we can intervene there. So pretty high tech stuff. Um, we also have uh, a nutritionist who's uh, starting with us uh, at the end of this month. Uh, very exciting. Uh, this is that machine is for body fat analysis. I tend to stay out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> but uh, you know, this will be kind of kind of phase in what the the hours the nutritionist works. But they're sp specifically going to work with sports nutrition. So there's a lot of sports problems where nutrition is integral to how the problem arose. When you think about stress fractures, um, distance athletes, um, uh, things, uh, issues with eating disorders, which are all too common um, in in school age kids. Um, so we're going to have a sports nutritionist who can really intervene there um, and help with bone density, bone uh, health issues, as well as, you know, body mass. What's your ideal weight um, for uh, being as competitive as you can be, but also being healthy. So excited about this. And the, the nutritionist we've hired is incredibly top notch uh, experience at two D1 schools already as nutritionists wow. and perfect person to come in. Um, very excited to have her. So the downstairs right below the sports part of the, of the building is uh, the physical therapy uh, space, huge open physical therapy space for UVA uh, physical therapy with all these different spaces. Here's a view from the other direction, lots of equipment, uh, great uh, staff, um, some pretty uh, sophisticated stuff too. We have here uh, a zero gravity treadmill. So that thing inflates around your waist and kind of provides lift. And so you're able to exercise uh, muscles with putting less stress across the joints, especially helpful if we're trying to get bones to heal or recover from certain operations. Um, we also have an underwater treadmill. So the same concept, this thing partially fills up with water. You're kind of buoyant. So there's even less uh, load or weight across the joint or the bone that's trying to heal. And you can still get a tremendous workout of the muscles for the rehab um, against the, the flow of the water and the resistance of the water. So uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff. You know, backtracking just a minute on the, to the sports nutrition. Um, yeah. That's one thing I've noticed as a sports journalist in the past decade, uh, David, that I don't know how many times I've interviewed uh, athletes, particularly football players, but in, in all, all sports, 
And they said that one of the biggest differences in making them healthier and feeling better and more efficient as an athlete is what they eat. And they, through sports nutrition and, and that education part of it, uh, that's something that people didn't talk about much until right. recent years. And it, that, I think that's, that's right. really underrated. Yeah, yeah. I, I've just seen just in my career, um, even in the past 10 years, that athletes pay a tremendous amount of attention to this. I mean, they're very, the high level, there's a really high level athlete has to pay attention to this. I have yet to see somebody who was at a peak performance level that doesn't pay a lot of attention to this. So it just, it just makes sense. And they're very, very aware of what they put in their bodies and how they eat, when they eat, um, everything there. And it's year round. Um, so our, the nutritionists at, at the, at the universities like UVA are very busy and, um, we're so excited to have this resource for the community and for high school kids. I mean, uh, we see so many kids will come in and they've got, this is now their second or third stress fracture. And you realize, well, just tell them to run less isn't going to solve this problem. I mean, we, we, there's, you got to come at it from all sides and this is going to be a key part of getting these kids better and staying better. So it's, it's, it's great to have it. It goes back to the old saying, you are what you eat. Yep. You're right about that. <laughs> So uh, also in this building uh, is prosthetics and orthotics. So orthotics are the inserts you put in your shoes and they're custom molded and they can be designed to tilt your foot or more art support or less or whatever. Prosthetics are artificial limbs. And so they are actually fabricated and molded there on site. And we've got a whole lab to do that. Special shoes, braces, the works, uh, as well as fit athletes. They've hurt their knee, they need a knee brace. They get it in the moment right there which is perfect. That's always a funny picture with all the limbs and moldings and so forth. Um, so it's, it's all right there and available. And uh, we just have them call over to make sure there's not a long line, but they can get walk-in service and, and fit immediately. That's a, that's a real plus. Uh, we also have a pharmacy uh, in, in the building. So when they, patients need to go pick up their prescriptions, they don't have to even go to the pharmacy, they can get right there. Um, and when the operating rooms uh, start up uh, shortly, then the same thing is true for the medicines for after surgery. You can pick it up right there in the building, full service. So we have a complete, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, it's just, uh, that's impressive. Yeah, it, just the scope of things in this one building is absolutely incredible. So full imaging options, everything that you can do. So lots of x-ray units, two MRIs, two CT scans, Fluoro, which is live x-ray, kind of like real-time motion picture x-ray, um, ultrasound, both fluoro and ultrasound are used for guided injections. So if you're trying to hit a small target, like to inject a hip joint or into in, in actually a shoulder joint, which is done routinely, then you use uh, ultrasound or x-ray to guide where that goes, confirm that you're in, uh, and then put the medicine in much more accurate. Um, we also have an area where some of the primary care sports providers and some of our PAs are doing guided injections with ultrasound right in, our, in the middle of our clinic with great big uh, uh, flat screens on the wall, on two walls, so the patient can actually watch what's happening, um, as well as the provider who's doing the procedure. It's, it's absolutely state of the art. Um, this is a, a speaking of state of the art, we have these brand new uh, technology standing CAT scan that can really look at what happens to a joint under load and also low radiation CAT scans uh, and low radiation x-ray for kids. So uh, really pretty cool uh, technology here. The, uh, the next part of the building I'm going to go down is, is down in the basement. It's the same level as the imaging and the physical therapy but it's, it's surgery. So we're going to have outpatient surgery. We have the capacity to go up to six rooms. They're going to be opened in staged fashion. Uh, the space is absolutely beautiful. So, so, you know, wide open and, and uh, well-designed. Um, these are the pre and post-op rooms. So uh, patients will be recovering and then also getting ready for surgery in these rooms. And this is uh, one of the operating rooms. Their operating rooms are beautiful. They're 
They're really large, which is great for a surgeon. Um, we, we love that. And just all this high tech stuff with the, the lighting and the screens and the imaging and the ability to pull up the patient's x-rays and MRI and have it on one screen while the, the view inside their knee or shoulder with the scope is in another. And uh, they're just, they're, they're absolutely wonderful. So the, the plan is to open these in stage fashion, beginning with the first two in September. And then as we uh, get busy enough, you know, gradually open two more at a time. And as, honestly, as we get staffing, as, as you know, staffing's tough everywhere right now. And so it's, we're kind of gradually filling in staff to be able to open this, but it's, it's coming very soon. Um, one of the, so two things are going to be done in these ORs. It'll be sports medicine. So a lot of what I do, uh, knee and shoulder, outpatient surgery, ACLs, rotator cuffs, meniscus tears, and also outpatient joint replacements. So Jerry, if you need your knee replaced, you could come here to this building and have it replaced and go home the same day, Wow, which is really pretty cool. Or your hip or your shoulder uh, replaced same day. And we have these extended stay rooms or nine of them. Um, you can see it's still kind of getting set up, but they're, diff they're, they're designed kind of as a crossover between a recovery room and more like a hotel room. So the, the bed is more uh, accessible, um, more like a, a regular hotel room. There's, there's space to put your private articles there, kind of adjacent to the bed. Uh, this, this thing that looks kind of like a couch actually opens up and becomes um, more of a day bed for your family member that's with you. You've got a place for them to take a nap. You've got a flat screen on the wall, your own private uh, uh, bathroom um, and, uh, and, and shower space. And then you've got um, that is very user friendly for the family. So you see you have a separate family lounge. Maybe the family person wants to, you know, give the, the patient a break, let them take a nap, go down to a separate family lounge area with a microwave and a fridge and even a family shower. So just incredibly uh, family friendly and patient friendly uh, and just so excited about this being a university building. It's just incredible all the stuff that's in it. Um, so thankful for that. So the teaching this, space. This is yeah. the, uh, in this, this is one, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the largest outpatient centers in the entire nation, right? It absolutely is. Yeah. Yes, it is. I, I'm struggling to think of one that's bigger, and I do not know of any that has the scope of things in it that we do. I don't think there is. When you put it all together, the concussion center, nutrition, sports, surgery, therapy, teaching space, uh, you know, every is, I don't think there's another place that has all of that. So we're pretty proud uh, and really excited. So this is just a, a glimpse of some of the teaching space for our orthopedic residents. Uh, we have a dry lab with all the tools that they would typically use. That they can practice on up there um, and, and kind of a, a lounge area for them where they're doing because they're, they're studying and reading all the time. It's a pretty intensive training program that they're in. Um, but they've got a really comfortable space to, to be and kind of call home and they all have their own desks. And then we have uh, uh, several different meeting rooms, but one really large conference room that can be set up to, to offer food to. It's immediately adjacent to our, our food services, which is open for breakfast and lunch. Also has a coffee area in there. You can order uh, remote on the screen that you see lower left. Uh, and the food is actually very good. Um, and uh, there's some vending areas too, but they actually have just to the left um, uh, folks that are cooking food uh, for breakfast and lunch. And it, it, is, it is quite good. Not the typical hospital cafeteria type fare. Um, so this, this is uh, just a view looking at it uh, from the east towards the west. And you can see also the big two-level parking deck on the left. The upper level on the surface is for patients and families. The bottom level is for staff. And when patients have surgery, uh, they get discharged right into that bottom level. Uh, there's a pickup drop off area for patients following surgery. So they're not worried about weather as they're getting into their cars. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job, you know, planning this and thinking about just, just about everything. So uh, we hope that uh, patients will come see us. And uh, this is the, the phone number, 924-BONE kind of catchy. And that's one number, they only number they have to remember. And you can get anybody, any service you need to by calling that. And that's just a little taste of what we have. It looks like you guys haven't left anything out. I mean, uh, easy access, uh, parking, uh, incredible amount of parking. 
Yeah, uh, that's huge. Every how, how cool is it to have everything under one roof, David? I mean, that that's so rare these days. It really is. It, it, it is incredibly rare. And, you know, now I'm 27 years into practice and I've, I've done it both ways. And I just, the difference is just amazing. I mean, educationally, it's incredible. Uh, I, the, you know, the, but probably most importantly, the benefit is to patients. When you've got world-class experts all working shoulder to shoulder, kind of the same common area, you just, it's so easy to put your brains together and say, well, what do you think? I, well, here's what I think, but what do you think? It's just, it's wonderful. So in all those screens, it's just so, so easy and conducive to, to, uh, to, to getting help from each other. It's great. Um, so you get, it's like you get a whole team of people when you come in, if, if anything is challenging and um, very proud to be there. Uh, proud to have been a small part of the design. Uh, Bobby Chopper, our chairman, uh, has worked tirelessly for this, continues to, is the absolute champion for it. Gets, uh, should get a tremendous amount of credit for this coming to fruition. Um, and the fact that this was achieved at a, at a university um, medical center, which, you know, typically that's going to be a little bit more low budget, right? It just, because it's, um, because of the university aspect and government buildings and so forth, but this is just state of the art. I mean, it's unrivaled in this country. It'll be a tremendous recruiting tool for athletics. We are, we can see the baseball stadium out the windows. It's that close to all of the athletics complex um, over there. So incredibly convenient for them. Um, it's uh, just couldn't be better. Very, very excited. I, I don't know if you're obliged to, to be able to say this. If you can, it's okay. But uh, in terms of seeing patients, well, do you have a guesstimate about how many people you guys average seeing per day or per week or per month before? And, we, and, how, and how does that go with this building now? Yeah. Capacity-wise, just in clinic, we are probably roughly 500 patients a day just in clinic wow. then then wow. when you add physical therapy and you add the ors and you add imaging people coming in for mris and getting fit for prosthetics orthotics and everything else you're probably 750 patients a day would come through this building easily maybe pushing a thousand sometimes just incredible that's an amazing number yeah what, what it really a, is what a great facility i not only is uva lucky but so is uh Charlottesville community and surrounding area. I mean, it's just overwhelmingly yeah, I, I totally great. Agree. Yeah, it's, uh, you it's think, a, little, be a, a flagship for the whole university health system. No question about it. It's such a unique building. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm, I'm blown away by the, the, not only the uh, attractiveness, but the how well organized it is, the beauty surrounding it, uh, the efficiency. The overall uh, aspect uh, that you can do everything in one building and the advanced science, uh, nutrition, uh, all that. It's, uh, it's everything rolled into one. That's, you guys should be saluted. Yes. And, uh, I know you're proud, uh, proud like a proud father. <laughs> you're right. You're right. And that was a pretty good summary. You just, you just uh, laid out there, Jerry, all the things you listed, I think is perfect. That's what our dream was. And we're very excited. This has become a reality. And Jerry, I thank you very much for the chance to showcase this and share it. I think it's great to get the word out so people know what an amazing resource we have. And, and I thank you for your time. This has been great. Thank you for uh, sharing this with us and, and for narrating uh, the, the guided tour. It's, uh, I'm, su I'm sure everybody will be impressed with this building. And uh, while people don't want to have accidents to come and see you, now they know that they can comfortably in their mind go and get everything taken care of that they need. So yes, sir. Thank, thank you, David. You're welcome, Jerry. Take care.